guys. Today I'm going to show you how to potentially. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to potentially save your engine from catastrophic. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to potentially save your engine from catastrophic failure for fourteen dollars. That was so hard to say. God. <laughs> All right. So we're today we're doing the oil pump nut. Now this failure doesn't happen often. It does happen on E36s, but. It's usually because of vibration from high revving and beating the total mess out of your car. So if you have a drift car or a turbo E36 and you like to do burnouts like I do. Like I really like doing burnouts. I'm going to be doing a lot of burnouts. So today I'm going to be doing the oil pump nut. Now what we're going to be using today is a threaded oil pump nut. It has a hole drilled in it and it comes with safety wire. I got this from Beamer World. You can tell because they always send you stickers and they always send you gummy bears. It's funny. They've been sending that for years. <laughs> they drilled a little hole in the nut and then you attach the safety wire and you take the safety wire and you wrap it around the gears. That way it never comes loose. Now, of course, with this engine on the engine stand, it's going to be really easy for me to do right now because all I got to do is just drop the oil pan. If the engine is in the car, you're going to have to drop the subframe. So if you do have a very low car and you have smashed your oil pan on a road reflector. Yes, I've really done that. Um, and you have to change that anyways. That'd be a good time to do it. Or if you're just doing an oil change and you're doing front bushings or something and you want to remove your front bushings and front subframe, that's a good time to do it too. But um, outside of the engine, there's no excuse not to do it. It's not expensive. It's not a lot of work. And it can potentially save your car's engine from catastrophic failure. So what we're going to be doing is pulling out this oil pan. It's just a bunch of tins all the way around the oil pan. Super simple work. I'm going to wear gloves this time. I have gloves. I don't want to get away with you today. Okay, this wasn't planned, but with this shirt and these white gloves, I look like a mime. This is... I look stupid. I look ridiculous. Oh, I missed one. Wow. Yep, that was it. Ugh. I did not mean to do that. All the cleanup crew. Fuck. Damn. Well, I'm going to get my ass whooped. That's so good. Here's the oil pump nut. Right there. Boom. That's the guy you don't want coming loose. Because if that comes loose, usually from vibration, you got no oil pressure, and you're going to blow your engine. All right, let's go ahead and do the fun part and remove this oil pump nut. This is the factory oil pump nut. It's just chilling. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, that couldn't come off if it wants to. I'm going to put this one on there. Take the safety uh, safety wire, and we're gonna put that on there, and then take the safety wire and wrap it around the gears so it doesn't, you know, separate ever. So now to get this off, I can't lock my flywheel in because I don't have a flywheel on right now. So I'm gonna have to use an impact, and it's reverse threaded. So use an impact, tighten it. There, oil pump nut is off. All right, now here's the new nut. The new nut is literally just another nut, but with holes drilled into it. I got little holes drilled into it. You take your safety wire, you go through, and then you wrap it around the gears just like that. Now you can, if you wanna make your own, just take the factory one and you can drill it yourself with a tiny drill bit, but I didn't want to drill it crossways and I don't know, it's just either just order this because I still have to find safety wire anyways. 
But if you want to do it for yourself, do it at home, you can. No problem with that. Let's go ahead and put this thing back on. All right, now to put this thing back on, like I said, it's reverse threaded, so you're actually going to twist it to the left to tighten. But before we do that, red lock tight. We want to lock this thing down. We don't want this thing to ever go anywhere. Sound like Batman. Kind of hurts my throat a little bit. You know, dab some red lock tight in there. That's that's too much. That's too. You know what? There's no such thing as too much. If I don't ever want that thing to come off. So I got some red lock tight in there, and we're just gonna twist it on there. We're gonna rub it in there deep. Okay, yeah, I sound weird. Let me just. Okay, where's my where's my damn torque that on there? Pretty good. That should be good. I think it's in there. All right. Now that I got that on there, now I'm going to take the safety wire, go through the holes again. And since these are right here, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it through in one gear, out the other gear. Twist it on there, make sure it just doesn't go anywhere. Just kind of freestyle it. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do this as long as it's on there and not just gonna loosen up. It shouldn't with the red Loctite, anyways, but you can never be too careful. Trying to get as much twist as you possibly can just to be sure. And there you go. That way, if your oil pump nut ever starts to come loose, it'll be held in place, if that makes sense. And there you go. Well, there you go, guys. Real simple. Oil pump nut is on, secured, wrapped around, loctited. I think should never, ever come off. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this simple tutorial. If that's all you came for... You're free to go. If you're a regular subscriber, want to see more updates? Well, let's get to work, man. These damn flies going crazy right now. Can't get them. They're too, they're too quick. I hate you. All right, back again. Third time. That's hopefully a charm. I have an actual OEM Z3 oil filter housing. Remember, I kept having problems trying to get this damn Vanos line to match that. My OEM Vanos line didn't match because oil filter housing line, the Vanos line, goes straight and then down. But since this is a Z3 oil filter housing, it lands in the front. So it doesn't go straight and down. Then I bought a Chase Bays one somewhere over there still. And I tried to hopefully hope that it would twist and it didn't. So... I uh, took an L on that too, but now I have an official Z3 one. I like this Z3 one because it has uh, oil pressure and oil temperature sensors already built in, so that's going to be cool later on. But let's hope this thing finally works. Bro, on God, if this don't work, I'm going to throw this engine in the trash. Even though it's not the engine's fault, I'm just that mad. Like, I'm tired of wasting money. You have to work. And then, that way, I think it works. I think it works. It works, oh my God. Oh. All right, let's do it. Brand new crush washers. This rotates this way. And in there like money, baby. Like butter. Nice. We did it after three attempts for the most simple part on this engine. <laughs> it was all part numbers, man. Just, just part numbers. Finally, success. That's what success looks like, guys. That's what success looks like. <laughs> 
We can finally put the alternator back in place now. Because when the alternator was there, that was blocking it and I couldn't tighten that, so. See? All right. Uh, one more thing I gotta change real quick uh, or add. Um, my car didn't have an engine bracket, so I can't lift it with the lift from the front. So I had to order this brand new. I think it was like $13, but, and it's crazy. I was like, oh, I'll just borrow that one. That one didn't have one either. How are y'all lifting these damn engines? This is literally what it's made for. Now, it's not hard. It actually just goes right here on these two things. Uh, oh, yeah, just go right there. Boom, and then that's where you pick the engine up. There's two 13s. Oh man, stop playing with me. Why is it not working? I can't fit a 13 through there? Come on, man. I gotta drill this shit out? What the fuck? That's fucking weird. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. This is OEM. This is like out of the box. So I don't know why I would have to modify it <laughs> to make it fit. But it fits. It should, at least. There. So stupid. I just had it. I just had it. Where the fuck? Oh. Yay. I can lift my engine now. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Um, didn't want to be out here all night. Uh, I have work in the morning. Just wanted to do the oil pump nut. It was quick, it was easy, and uh, saved my engine. Uh, oil pan, leave that off, because I need to get that cleaned up and tap for turbo drain. Door handle stuff. I'm having flashbacks, oh my god. The screws and nuts and stuff to actually tighten it to the body is coming in. They are in place, so the hard part is done, so that shouldn't, shouldn't be very hard to finish that job up. And uh, that's coming later this week. I was uh, got the right valve cover now. I mean, valve cover gasket. I finally got the right valve cover gasket. I was about to tighten it down, but I got something coming this week that I kind of want to do to that. So I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to keep it off for a minute. Um, I'm having trouble finding a ZF transmission. They are getting sold as soon as they are available. Like I find part out cars and like, you got the trans? Like, nah, I sold. Like, they be selling faster than the engine. I need a ZF. I'm having a hard time finding a ZF. So, if you got any leads in the Atlanta area for a E36 ZF transmission, preferably lower miles, because I'm going to beat the dog shit out of it, let me know. And less than $750. I found one for $750. You got me fucked up not doing that. So, let me know what you find. I also need drive shaft and linkage. And then, I can at least... Put the motor in the car after clutch too, but at least I get further. But right now it's kind of just sitting here because I don't have the other parts to put it in the car. So that's holding me up right now. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Love y'all. Going to bed. Deuces. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to save your engine. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to... What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how to... What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how to... Today we're doing the oil pump nut.